Now I will show how you can use an external temperature sensor and connect it to the Raspberry Pi Pico. The temperature sensor is a TMP36 uh, temperature sensor. Here you see the TMP36 uh, uh, temperature sensor. It's very small, easy to use, it's cheap, and it has three pins that you wire and connect to the um, Raspberry Pi Pico. Typically you mount it on a breadboard and then wire it to the Raspberry Pi Pico. Uh, in order to read values from this um, sensor, you, are, you need to be able to read an analog voltage um, using the Raspberry Pi Pico. And luckily, uh, Raspberry Pi Pico has three um, analog to digital uh, converters that we can use. So here you see the three ADCs that are on the Raspberry Pi Pico. You have ADC 0, which is pin uh, 26 and then you have ADC1 which is pin 27 and then you have ADC2 which is pin tw uh, 28. So you can use any of these three uh, pins in order to connect this temperature sensor or similar components to the Raspberry Pi Pico. Basically this is an example how you can wire the temp 36 to the Raspberry Pi uh, Pico. So then you need this 3.3 voltage, which is connected to the first pin. And the third pin is the ground, which you use one of the ground pins. I just use this one. You can of course use this one, this one, this one, this one, etc. And finally, uh, the pin in the middle is the analog voltage output from the sensor, which need to be connected to one of these analog to digital converters. So I choose to use ADC0, which is on pin 26. So the analog to digital converter or the ADC on Pico is a 16 bit. Uh, it means it produces values from 0 to 65,535. We use uh, the MicroPython function read underscore u16 in order to read uh, uh, the analog uh, input value, which then will be a value between 0 and 65,535. Typically you want to convert this, uh, this value, which is between 0 and 65,535 to a voltage value, uh, which is from 0 to 3.3 voltage, which is the maximum voltage uh, level on the Raspberry Pi Pico. And then basically this is a linear uh, scaling using a linear equation like this. So then basically this is the linear uh, formula for converting from x, which is between 0 and 65,535, to y, which is uh, the value in voltage between 0 and 3.3 voltage. So that's how we convert uh, from the pure ADC value to uh, the voltage value inside our uh, application. Next, we need to convert this voltage value to a, val uh, to a value in degrees Celsius. And then if you look up uh, in the data sheet on this temp 36 temperature sensor, you will find this um, figure. And this figure gives an overview of the rela relationship between the voltage that are given from the sensor and the temperature in degrees Celsius. And basically for this temp 36, which is B, which is this line, basically, basically it's a linear relationship between the voltage level and the level in in uh, degrees Celsius. And then, since we no can use or find two uh, values or points on this, um, this line, so I use x when x1 is uh, zero uh, zero 0.75, which is basically um, here, then we have 25 degrees Celsius, and then it's one voltage, which is here, we have 50 degrees Celsius. So we use these two points and then we can use this um, formula we have here for finding the linear relationship between the voltage and the temperature in degrees Celsius. And then we end up with this basic formula where X is uh, the output, uh, sorry, the voltage level and Y is the temperature in degrees Celsius. So basically, first we need to find the voltage value, then we need to convert the voltage value to degrees Celsius, and then basically we end up with the following program. 
um, we need to use the machine library and then we need to import the ADC class of the machine library we need to specify the pin we are using and according to this wiring we are using pin uh, 26 and then we just create an object of this um, ADC class where we specify the pin number and then inside the while loop we start by reading the ADC value which is, which is between 0 and 65,535 then we convert it to volt, voltage between 0 and 3.3 .3 voltage and then we use this formula in order to convert it to degrees Celsius and then we can just print the value to the screen using the print command. So let's go to our ton editor in order to implement this, this uh, application. So then let's start creating the application. So we need to import this ADC from the machine library. We define pin um, 26 and then we just start to define this um, temp 36 sensor using this ADC um, class. And then we just um, specify the pin, pin like this, which we specify here, which is 26. And then inside the while loop, we just read, start by reading the ADC value using this temp 36 object point and this read u16 function like this. And then we convert it to a voltage value using this formula 3.3 divided by the number of levels, which is 65,535, multiply with this EDC value uh, like this. So now we get the voltage level. Now we need to find the degrees Celsius value. like this and then we use this formula 100 divided by the voltage level minus 50 like this and then we can just print it like this and typically we need to have a slip so then I just read a new value let's say every five seconds or something and then we can just run it Yeah, was some spelling mistake there from from time import sleep so now we can run it mm, let me see there it should be a degree c like this and now you see this is the uh, actual temperature value in degree celsius and we read a new value from the sensor every five seconds then you can also here's a lot of number of decimals because the accuracy of this sensor isn't that accurate so then we can just uh, use uh, this built-in run function to, to limit the number of uh, decimals like this so let's just run it once more around so now we get the temperature 26.4 26.4 now I can hold the fingertips on the sensor and hopefully also you will see that the temperature will be increased. So now it's 29.5, 30.6, etc. So basically this is how you uh, connect a temp 36 temperature sensor to the Raspberry Pi Pico and then create this simple program in order to be able to read the temperature value from from this sensor.